Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at Microsoft Corporation, one of the companies in the Magnificent Seven and now the most highest market capped company out there. Um, revenue looks fantastic, over doubling over the last nine years. Operating margin has increased quite a bit. Gross margin pretty, uh, pretty consistent at 69%. $3 trillion market cap. A little bit less enterprise value, so net debt is actually uh, negative, meaning that they have more cash on hand than debt. Yeah, I mean everyone knows Microsoft. I don't probably have to go too crazy into this. So 110 million cash on hand with uh, short-term investments included, and only 46. Was that 47 billion in long-term debt? Very safe balance sheet. Free cash flow, they've been investing like crazy. You can see their capital expenditures have almost are almost six times greater. Uh, cash flow operations, a bit over double, but free cash flow is still grown pretty heavily with use of cash. A little bit on the acquisition side, or quite a bit on the acquisition side, quite a bit reinvesting, quite a bit of share repurchases, and then their dividend pays out $21 million in aggregate which is probably close to 30 to 40% of their five-year average free cash flow. Okay, so let's start making some assumptions here. I mean, business is going to be around for a while, so I'm not too concerned with digging too crazy into this. I'm just going to do uh, you know, what makes the most sense to me. As for revenue growth, I think Microsoft being as great as they are at – um, as Monas Probri says, the best, one of the best cloners out there. Um, I'm talking to, about both Probri and what Probri said about Microsoft. So I feel like Probri is the Microsoft of the software industry. But uh, Probri has said that Microsoft is immensely good at cloning. They have a fantastic history of cloning, which is absolutely factual. Um, and we see that they do a fantastic job through both acquisitions or just, you know, essentially copying similarly what other uh, companies do that, you know, is, is very great for them. So I feel like when AI comes out, they're, they've historically done a fantastic job at cloning. And so I feel like uh, they'll be definitely one of the top runners in the cloning, uh, in the AI realm. So I, I think growth for them, although they're already a humongous company, is still probably going to be pretty spectacular. Um, I would not be surprised if they grew 10% a year for the next seven years. Uh, and then I'm saying a 22 PE at the end of that period saying that, you know, they might have quite a bit of growth ahead of them. So they're definitely gonna have a premium over most companies, but they're going to be so big by then that even the opportunities to invest in might not be as grand and percentage wise to their actual earnings already. As for margins, I think that. It might be hindered a little bit by investing in AI, but in the long run, they're probably going to be pretty substantial. So maybe let's do 33. Let's do 33. What do we have? 31, 31. Let's do 33% for both. And then let's buy back. They've been extremely consistent. Let's say they buy back 0.7% of shares. Dividend. Um, dividend has been increasing. Is fine. Let's increase it with their revenue growth, which is going to essentially grow with their earnings and free cash flow to where it's probably going to be about 30 to 40 percent as a payout at the end of seven years. The share change buyback through buybacks is going to be about another 30 percent or so of their free cash flow, and then the rest, that remaining 30 percent or so, can go towards acquisition, reinvesting in themselves. And I just get to a price that looks a little bit expensive at this point. So um, I definitely won't be buying this one on the Magnificent 7 very soon. Uh, but 56% sounds like a lot. I feel like it's a lot more than what a lot of people think. But, um, you know, the average variation in a year is, is nearly 50% for the average company. And so I wouldn't be surprised if... It got to a, you know a decent price through, during a downturn, but the company's just on absolute strain right now. Uh, 
rocketing like crazy from AI and them having a fantastic growth out of them. So uh, for me, it's just not quite there. I'm just going to wait a little bit. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you.